All right, Kambe. You mentioned absolute morality. Now, I'm assuming from our previous discussions that you believe that God or religion, specifically Christianity, are necessary to have some sort of moral fiber of society. But really, morality can only be in existence in one of two ways. It can either exist as an intrinsic property of items or objects, actions, etc., or God can define these things to be good or evil. So let's suppose that it's the first, that things are just intrinsically good or evil, and God loves them, because God loves what is good, and God is good. So then if this is the case though then we do not need God to tell us what is good and what is evil what is right and what is wrong because these are intrinsic in the in the items and so we can tell for ourselves on the other hand if God is good then whatever action he takes is good and he chooses to love that which means that he could he randomly decides what is good because whatever he does is good that means that morality is defined by his actions and could just as so we could just as easily say that murder is good if he decided that way basically the flip of a coin so he exists outside of morality and to exist outside of morality further disproves your I don't know argument about absolute morality because it doesn't apply to God so doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> I should have written this down or something and actually planned it out. I'm just, I think you know my point. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it, though.